Now let's talk about adjusting the trigger. One of the big improvements we made in the 107, as well as the pocket pistol, is adjusting the trigger from the outside. This is, this is really cool because a lot of people like to take advantage of adjusting their trigger brake. And uh, you know, in the 110 model, that was fine. You have to remove the pins and adjust it and put it back together, but we've made it a little bit more accessible so you can actually go to the very bottom portion here and adjust from the outside. The one confusing thing about the adjustment is just the way screws work and the internals is that uh, we have a nice little sticker here to kind of help things out. The brake, you go, you go kind of go lefty tighty. <laughs> okay, so, and the trigger brake right here, if I want a heavier trigger brake, meaning I prepped up and I want that brake to be heavier, all right, well, there's a nice little plus sign here and the arrow saying like, hey, yeah, turn it that way for a, a, a positive, a, a higher value brake. So, um, for example, so if I, if I want to be, you know, man up and train with a nice heavy trigger, okay, I'm going to turn that thing up. And of course, that's going to adjust the internal mechanism to give it a pretty heavy brake. Now, if I want a heavy brake and the prep, I want to adjust and lighten that up. All right, I'll just put that in here. Okay, now I'm going to go against this arrow, so it should be the negative, obviously, and I'm going to lighten up that prep. So yeah, that prep lightens up, and I still got a pretty heavy brake. So that's how you make that adjustment. Now, you may want to think, well, what, what should I adjust it to, light or heavy? Uh, I would play with, honestly, a heavy trigger for your training pistol, or at least do some reps where you have a nice heavy break, even maybe work to some fatigue, because all the more you can um, isolate your trigger finger from your gripping fingers, the better off you're going to shoot. Now, some people do like to lighten it up, and, and you can definitely do that, but also remember, you want to be a competent, confident shooter. You can pick up any pistol and not be like, oh, that's not my nice, sweet, cherry out. You know, we want to be robust shooters. So uh, I would always strongly just playing with this, go heavy at times, do some drills, and the convenience factor of lightening it up, you know, you can, you can kind of go back to, uh, you know, play with those different settings. So that's the basics. You got your trigger prep and your trigger break. The trigger prep is how much force it takes to, you know, bring it up to that wall, so to speak, all right? And then the trigger break is how much force it takes to, boom, actually break that shot, okay?